Sell Your Car UK is back and delighted to offer for sale this absolutely gorgeous VW Beetle 2 litre Tiptronic Cabriolet. It is absolutely lovely. It's a 2003 on an 03 plate. It's done 50,000 500 miles. It's currently on only its fourth keeper and as you can see as we go around it, it is in this exceptionally cute bright sunshine yellow. I'm sure there's a VW fanatic out there shouting at me right now. I don't know if that's the actual colour, the name of the colour from VW, but for the purpose of this video it's bringing the sunshine out of me a little bit here. It's a sunshine yellow deal with it. Uh, it's got black leather interior with sunshine yellow piping. Again, we'll have an argument about that later. Uh, it's an automatic gearbox. It's got heated seats. It's got electric windows, electric mirrors, and of course, that electric roof as well. Uh, the tonneau cover you can also see is on the car and coming with it. Uh, it's got alloy wheels, it really is a loaded car. Uh, it's also got heated wing mirrors, very useful in the winter, which it is. And as you can see from the Santa hat, it will make an absolutely lovely Christmas present. Right, let's get up close and personal with the car. It is a privately owned car. It is 12 years old. So I'm sure you'd expect to find some little nicks and nooks around the car. So we're gonna show you those on this video just to save you the hassle of coming down to see it yourself if it's not right for you. And the first thing just to show you is this little chip here on the bonnet, these little stone chips. Uh, they are easily touch inable and we can do that for you. But the car is coming as you see it here in this video. Uh, also the badge here, a little bit of the patina is coming off of that. I'm being fussy, but I wanna show you this just so there's no surprises if you are coming down to see the car. A Little bit of a scratch going on here on the front bumper. Again, that can be touched in. Uh, the yellow paint is quite easy to blend. Uh, it wouldn't need a whole respray of a bumper for that. Uh, and now as we come around the driver's side of the car, just to show you, uh, we've got good discs and good pads. It brakes very well. Uh, the alloy wheels are missing the center caps on the front wheels for some reason, probably not put back on uh, when the brakes or a tire was changed on it. Loads of life left in the tires. A Little bit of curbing going on on the wheels. Can be easily refurbished. Uh, we can discuss that if you are interested in the vehicle. Uh, we can offer all of these services. We can do uh, wheel refurbishments, touch-ins, full resprays. Not that this car needs that, uh, but whatever you need doing, then do speak to us about it. Uh, everything is reflected in the price as well, so that we're pricing the vehicle as fairly as possible. Just showing you there a little chip in the paint. There's no dents though on this car, uh, no dings or anything like that. Actually, that's not strictly true. There is a dent on this car, but you won't see it unless I show it to you. And once I show it to you, you'll always be able to see it. Uh, but I have to show it to you. I want to show it to you because I don't want you wasting your time. Uh, the dent is there. Nothing can be done about that unless you want to replace this whole piece of trim along here. Uh, what's the point? The car's 12 years old. I'm sure you can live with that. Uh, it's been on the car for many, many years. The current owner of the vehicle acquired the car in June of 2010. Uh, they've done very few miles on the car. Uh, we can document the mileage through the MOT history. It is a genuine 50,500 miles. The car first registered in July of 2003. So I'm just showing you now the condition of the car and it is really lovely. Uh, there are some more marks here on this wheel, some more curbing marks. These ones to the spokes themselves and as well to the rims. Uh, and again, good brakes and tyres might be needed to be done uh, in a fair thousand or so miles. I'd probably say about four or 5,000 miles to go on these discs. The car's been sat for a little bit. It's been sat for about two or three months because the current keeper who's selling the car, using us here at Sell Your Car UK, has already received their new car. Uh, so the car is surplus to requirements. It is ready to go. Uh, if you're in property, there's no chain. I, I don't think that matters with this car. Uh, anyway, loads of, uh, loads of lovely little features to do with it, but I'm just going around to show you all these marks that are on the car. They're few and far between, but I want to show you exactly what you're coming down to get. It's a rear bumper. You will see some marks on them. It has got rear parking sensors, so some of these marks are inexcusable. Uh, however, I'm sure they were done by another person, not the driver of the vehicle. Uh, again, this badge here has also lost a little bit of its patina just there. I think you can see me. You can. Hello. Uh, I'm just showing you that mark just there. No need to replace badges. There's no need to spend any money on this car, really. It's coming in absolutely lovely 
Fettel in terms of the bodywork. There are some little tiny, tiny scuffs just being incredibly fussy now. But I just want to show you these so that there are, as I say, no surprises if you are coming down to see the car. Again, another good tyre, lots of life left in the tread and another curbed wheel, although a bit minor on the rims around here and a little bit to the face of it just there. Uh, this one has got the centre cap. Uh, no locking wheel nuts on this car. If you wanted to get that sorted out, you could do it quite easily through VW. They're not that expensive. You don't even have to get VW locking wheel nuts if alloy wheel crime is rife where you live. Uh, these wheels have obviously survived the test of time, so not a big deal to the current or any previous keepers. Uh, there are in fact three previous owners. The current keeper is the fourth. Oh, that's my phone ringing. Typical. Got to put it on silent. Uh, so, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, so, yes, the current keeper is the fourth registered owner. So you would be the fifth, which I think is quite respectable for a car of this age. Uh, now, just uh, bringing you along the passenger side here, just showing you again, no dents. Uh, and if I go right down low, you'll see as well that this side's fine. That side was probably caused by a speed bump, I would imagine. Uh, but anyway, just showing you around here, no dents, no dings, no scrapes, no scratches, no scuffs. It's in lovely condition. Just show you down here, there is a tiny, tiny little bit of a mark. Oh, I'm being very fussy. But I'm showing you this because, you know, if this is a Christmas present for somebody, you'll want to know exactly what the condition is like. And if it's for yourself, well then, as I said before, no surprises. Uh, apologies for the wind noise. It's quite windy today on this December morning that we're doing this video. So I do apologize. If you can't hear me, I shall shout a bit louder. Uh, showing you again, good discs, pads, stops on a dime, goes lovely. There's no faults with the vehicle. It drives absolutely fabulously. Right, let's get inside the car. Let's show you exactly what you're coming down to see. Uh, and we'll do it the old fashioned way. We'll, we'll use a door. So I'm gonna go around, cause I could just show you like this. Couldn't I? You can see for yourself, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I just wanna show you actually while I'm here, uh, the plate there, the surround plate is uh, there. It's in the glove compartment. That's come away. It seems like it's been glued on before. We will have that fitted back on properly prior to the car coming to the next keeper. Uh, it just hasn't been done yet um, because it fell off quite recently. But we will get that put back on. Uh, now in the back here as well, you can see lovely condition, that full leather with the sunshine yellow, that's what we're calling it, piping going throughout the car. Uh, there are some mats as well. Uh, I'll just, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the door. Uh, it seems like the right thing to do. Just to show you, there are two remote keys. They both look like this. Uh, one of them is missing that little silver bar just going along there, so you can't hang it off a key ring, which is a bit frustrating, uh, but you can put it in your pocket uh, or your bag. Uh, and then you've got central locking, one button there, you've got the boot button in the middle and the locking button is at the top. So if we open up the car now, you can see the condition on the inside is absolutely lovely. Uh, full black leather throughout uh, with this nice contrasting grey plastic trim which goes lovely with the sunshine yellow, that's what we're calling it, interior here which kind of follows through from the outside of the car. It's a lovely feature. Uh, as I say, you've got uh, electric wind wing mirrors and those are electrically heated. There's your central locking button. Down here, you've got uh, automatic electric windows and this button here will drop all four windows in the one touch. And over here, you've got the petrol cap and the boot release and a key to lock it as well so that if the roof is down, uh, people can't access the boot. Uh, now, just to show you, you do have mats throughout. I say throughout. This one is not a VW original mat, but it is a mat nonetheless, uh, bought as a replacement because VW mats do wear out quite easily. Uh, if I open to the back here, you'll see you're missing a mat here but the rest of the mats are the original genuine VW. And this one has been hoovered by our valetors into the very nice Sell Your Car UK uh, two triangles that's going on there. I do like my valetors. Uh, and then in the back here, you can see another mat. We don't need to show you that. Uh, you've got an ashtray in here, which is uh, seen better days. It does work, it does pop out should anyone want to be in the back smoking, and then it pops back in. And then just below that as well, there we go, cup holder. Hardly ever been used, which is probably why it's quite difficult to get out, but there you go, cup holder for the back seat passengers. Just showing you all the bits here. Now, if I jump into the car, and I shut the door, and I put the key in the ignition, and I turn the key, you'll see it starts first time. No warning lights on the dash, they all go off. I'll just turn the stereo off over here. Thank you very much, Steve Wright, in the afternoon. 
50,506 miles and you will see as well there is a service light flashing so there is a service due and it is a full service uh, we've priced up the job it's going to be 338 pounds and change including labor parts and VAT. Uh, if you want to get that done yourself somewhere else you can do uh, but if you want to buy the car and pick it up with that service done that's how much it's going to cost on top of the value of the vehicle. Uh, if you want to put a warranty on the car as well we provide warranties here through warranty wise we'd only put a warranty on the vehicle though if we knew you were going to service that car or indeed we do it for you. Uh, I'm just showing you this here because I'm just showing you there's no warning lights coming up on that dash. It runs absolutely lovely. You've got a fabulous uh, automatic gearbox here with the manual controls as well so you can change it yourself up and down and the little s there stands for super it doesn't it stands for sport but it might as well stand for super because putting it in that is super uh, you've also got down here uh, another button which opens and closes the roof and has a little bit of dirt in it the valet is mixed we'll get that cleaned before you pick up the car i assure you uh, and this lock here just locks this which reveals a six disc CD changer, very cool, which is needed considering over here is a tape deck. Yeah, kids, you're watching? That's called a tape deck, tapes, a plastic thing about that big with music in it, amazing. They were, they were really clever in their day. They go in there sideways, all the way in. I know they live in here. I mean, it's amazing. The things that kids got up to back in the day, eh? All right, so I've, I've lost them now. They're not watching. But uh, yeah, they're too young to even drive the car, so they can't even get insured. <laughs> you don't know what tapes are, but you can't even get insured on this car. Stop watching. Uh, it's got air conditioning, little button down here. You press that to turn that on. The fans work, the air conditioning works, and underneath it, you've also got heated seats for the passenger and the driver. Only in the front, uh, but those heated seats do work, work perfectly. ESP stands for the stability program, which you can turn off if you're a maniac and you like driving around a track in a convertible beetle well you know what beetles did go around tracks just watch herbie uh, but if you want to do that you can do and then you've got a heated rear screen which is for the rear screen that lives in there which i will show you because i want to show you the roof so i'm going to put that up so i think we're done in here now you can just uh, see again the condition of the car uh, really really good condition for the age the mileage is low so you would expect it there is some wear showing up here on the seat so I'll try and show you here on that sunshine yellow that's what we're calling it piping uh, you can see a little bit of wear going on there it is what it is um, also just to show you because this is kind of neat so you've got an ashtray here which the lid's a little bit flimsy so we're not going to muck around too much with that uh, a cup holder here as long as your cup is quite uh, you know don't put bottles in there a, a can might fit but here's something cool because if, if you wanted to put a bottle in there it won't fit how will a bottle fit easy push there now a bottle will fit that's clever I think that's quite clever all right, just me then. Uh, you've got your lights over here. They're not auto lights. You've got your wipers here. They're not auto wipers. And you've got your indicators over here. They're not auto indicators, obviously. Right, I'm gonna get out of the car. You never know, some people that might be a stickler. They might be looking for that. There's also no cruise control, although you can put it on. It's just a simple case of replacing stalks with other stalks. I'm not getting it, but if you want to do that, you can do. Lovely interior. I'll just show you on the driver's seat as well. Uh, very nice condition across the seat across the uh, the bum part of the seat a little bit of where you can see that where your bum goes i think that's to be expected it looks maybe more sort of aggressive here on this video but actually in real life they look fabulous uh, there is a little bit of wear along the sunshine yellow piping that you can just see down here a little bit of a tear you might want to stitch that up yourself you might want to leave it that's entirely up to you uh, right in true sell your car uk style we are now going to go to the boot to reveal the docks uh, so here we are push the button here on the thing uh, unlock it and then push the thing there we go and then that boat will just pop open like that very clean again inside here uh, we have obviously valeted the car but it's a clean car nonetheless not a lot of valeting required now the service history is sparse to say the least uh, the current keeper has done servicing to the car has maintained the car uh, hence it being fine and running lovely uh, but nonetheless uh, there's no documentary evidence to suggest that's been done it's all been cash <coughs> jobs uh, that have been done on it the only stamps in the book in fact go back to february of 2008 uh, that's now showing up there at 6955 miles which as you can do the maths yourself is about 53500 miles ago uh, 
no, it's not. It's 43. I can't do the maths. 43,500 miles ago. Uh, now, there, as I say, it's been maintained. Um, but here at Sell Your Car UK, we do believe in selling cars uh, with up-to-date service history as best as possible. So that's why I was saying before, uh, the service light is on. So it does need a service. Um, indeed, unless it was serviced last, uh, but uh, not uh, having the service light taken off, which is unlikely. So we will suggest, and I do personally recommend, that the vehicle gets that service before it goes out. 338 quid also includes an engine flush, a fuel treatment, spark plugs, um, everything that's needed really, a pollen filter. This is a very boring video with me talking whilst looking at some documents. But anyway, uh, pollen filter, fuel filter, air filter. No, not a fuel filter on this car, but an air filter, an oil filter, pollen filter, spark plugs, fuel flush, engine treatment. Um, yeah, everything, everything that's needed on the car. Solvent, screen wash. You name it, 338 quid and a little bit of change on top includes parts, labour and VAT. We'll do that for you before the car goes out. Just add it to the price or perhaps you've got somebody you'd rather do it to. Uh, do, to do it for the car, to the car, in which case, let's make sure I haven't left the keys in there. Keys, where are the keys? Where are the keys? Good, I've got the keys. There are the keys. Uh, yeah, you don't want to lock the keys in the boot, especially if that is locked as well this is an access hatch oh good it's open uh, this is an access hatch to the boot so if you wanted to get stuff out you can do but if this is locked which it is now it was hang on wasn't shut that's what it was right is it locked now now it's locked right so it just wasn't shut before so if this is locked uh, and the key is in the boot. That was awkward for a second. Uh, if it is locked and the key is in the boot, then um, you need the second key, which fortunately there is, uh, and then you can get into the boot. I think you've seen enough of those docks. I'm now gonna shut the boot. Uh, and as I was saying a moment or two ago, uh, yes, service, we will get the service done for you. Or if you know somebody who'd rather do the work, then by all means, take it to them. Uh, I just wanna show you over this side, this is how it should look with the speaker cover on. That speaker cover will be on. Uh, it will just be glued back on um, by our body shop. Um, there's no way of fitting it any other way, but it will be glued back on and uh, they'll do a proper job this time so it won't just come off. Uh, right, I'm going to pause the video now because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this tonneau cover off. Uh, well, I'll see if I can do it one handed actually. Um, you've got these buttons here which release that. Oh, my goodness, I actually might be able to do this one handed. Uh, and then another button here which releases that. And then this lifts out here. I'm actually able to do this one handed. Well, that is testament to VW. Uh, and then you just slide the tonneau cover off like so. Uh, place, place it on the floor, uh, fold it up neatly. Uh, well, we'll leave it there for now, but I was gonna say, and put it in the boot. We're gonna leave it just there for now because I wanna show you the roof. So the roof would normally look like this when it is down. Uh, there are some marks on it, some, it's, you know, it's an old car, so you will find this on a cloth roof. Some people replace their cloth roofs every two to five years. Uh, this one, I don't believe, has ever been replaced. So you've got some mildew buildup. You can buy some proper, professional, heavy-duty roof cleaner, should you so wish. Uh, but I'm just showing you these marks here. Uh, so th there's no surprises, as I said to you before. And you can actually see where these marks kind of go along it. Do you see these lines here? That it's had a good thorough scrubbing and cleaning. Uh, that's most likely been done by our validators as well. Uh, but to actually get those bits off there, well, you're gonna need something a bit stronger than just soap and water. All uh, right, I'm gonna pop the key in the ignition here because I wanna show you the roof is down, but the roof does go up as well. I'm just gonna engage the battery and then we're gonna bring the roof up, pushing the buttons. Here we go. This is actually a good sign of the battery life as well in the engine, in the, uh, engine bay. Uh, the car doesn't need to be running, so the alternator's running fine. Uh, right, it gets to this position, and then you've just got to press, twist, and release. Wow, I did, I, oh, you missed it, but I did it all one-handed. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, right, then I'm just going to shut the door uh, with the Santa hat in it, because it's a nice touch, that's why. Uh, and I'm going to just press this button here, and that oh, closes all four windows in one go. And trap Santa's hat in the window. Poor Santa's hat. Uh, and then I'm just gonna jump out so I can show you what the car looks like with the roof on, which is lovely. And I'm also gonna show you uh, all the marks that are on the roof. Santa hat down, I'll put the Santa hat in the car. Uh, it's a shame, it looks lovely. Uh, right, so on the roof, just to show you, uh, there are some little marks, as I said, some mildew. Uh, 
nothing serious. I'm just showing you it because, well, it's fair to. I want to make sure you know exactly what you're coming down to see. But also what I'm showing you here is there's no tears, there's no rips or anything like that. Uh, there are some marks of wear where it folds. Uh, you will see that on all the canvas roofs, no matter how old. Indeed, we're selling a 2013 Porsche uh, 911 convertible that has similar marks on its convertible soft top roof. It's just par for the course. You've just got to accept it and you've got to expect it. Uh, but if I come back, all those marks, everything I've shown you about this car just vanishes. The car is lovely and it looks just as cute and gorgeous with the roof up as it does with the roof down. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching this rather lengthy video, but we do like to be thorough here at Sell Your Car UK. As I mentioned, there are warranties available, though we will need to service the car for that warranty to actually be fully covering the vehicle. Uh, and likewise as well, we can arrange part exchange. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do finance due to the value of this vehicle, but indeed you could always arrange your own finance and still purchase the car through us here at Sell Your Car UK. And indeed there is only one place that you can get your hands on this gorgeous VW Beetle 2 litre automatic Tiptronic Cabriolet in sunshine yellow, accept it now, and that is exclusively using Sell Your Car UK. Thanks for watching.